All right, happy Monday, Panther family. My name is Jim Listerlicker. I am one of the assistant principals at Palm Desert Charter Middle School, and I would like to welcome you to this edition of Panther Style. Um, it's been a little bit, been very busy here, and you're gonna see some of the things we've been up to. So thank you for your patience and let's get going. Today's um, episode is dedicated to our eighth graders. So we're gonna be talking about transition to high school and the activities that we've been doing to support that and some things that are coming up. But before we get going, we wanna give you instructions to have automatically generated translated captions um, when you're watching this video. You can choose any language that you wish. Um, I will call your attention to step six. Because these are automatically translated, you never know what you're gonna get. So we thank you for your patience and your tolerance if something comes out kind of wonky. So our eighth graders are getting ready for high school, right? I mean, come on, it's April. This is coming really soon, two months? Yikes, coming up quickly. So our counselors and teachers have been busy pretty much all year helping prepare our students for a successful transition to high school. So let's see what they've been up to. All right, starting in December, we had some CCGI lessons that were delivered um, in some classes. So CCGI, again, is the California College Guidance Initiative, and they help smooth the transition from high school to college. They offer all kinds of lessons for middle school students all the way up through high school students. Um, and we're gonna look at what happened here. So on the 3rd of December, our counseling team went to every eighth grade math class and they gave the CCGI learning styles inventory. And I won't read to you what um, the learning styles inventory is. You can see it there, but it helps build student confidence, right? By understanding how they learn, what they need, various things. And it's supposed to reduce stress. See about that. So moving on in January, on the 27th, all of our students took the Spanish placement assessment during their PE class. See if they could get um, advanced placement into world languages class in high school. On the 28th of February, the counseling team went to each eighth grade science class and gave presentations about high school expectations. And I didn't put anything on this slide. High school expectations. It's a great typo, Mr. Listerlooker. Moving on in March, on the 3rd, we had visits from the PDHS counselors. They came to all of our eighth grade math classes, talked about course selection process. Um, those selections were due by March 18th through a Google form that was in a Google Classroom that they shared with everybody. Um, also on the 4th, all of our eighth graders walked over to PDHS and we attended the Future Aztec Rally where they got to enjoy a showcase of electives, course offerings, CTE, and tour groups were led around by um, Link Crew and ASB students, so that was pretty cool. March has been very busy, all right? So on the 7th was the Future Aztec Night for students and families at PDHS. On the 18th, we had the counselors back to visit our eighth grade students in their humanities classes this time to talk about course selections and answer any questions that they had. There was also a coffee with the counseling team held on March 25th to talk about high school transition with students and families. Told you they were busy. And on the 25th, the La Quinta High School counselors were on campus to answer student questions for students who are planning to attend LQHS and become Blackhawks. So here's what's coming up. We don't have a date yet, but the eighth grade Abbott banquet is coming up. We do have dates for the rest of the stuff though. So on May 20, we've got an eighth grade dance. I believe location is still to be determined on that one. May 25th, we're gonna have our eighth grade awards night. On June 1st, our eighth grade breakfast, and on June 2nd, the Knott's Berry Farm trip. <clears throat> so for the last four events, the one that we have dates for, students with library fines, students with an F in any class, 
and or students on the exclusion list are not able to participate. A letter about these expectations um, will be coming out very soon. I saw a copy of it late last week. I don't know if you can tell, but this panther's a little sleepy. <laughs> he might be getting ready for spring break. Um, and so as always, we are grateful for you as part of the team helping your students succeed. Um, and yeah, we could possibly use a nap right about now. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. I am Assistant Principal Jim Lister-Looker, and thank you for watching this edition of Panther Style.